All right, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So the last couple of videos on this Nova have all been dedicated to welding and rust repairs. In this video, I want to start getting it ready to house a 2-litre 16-valve turbocharged engine. So to fit that 2-litre engine, I must give the alternator some clearance. Now, there's two ways of doing that. Now, the old-school 90s way is to use one of these and hit that bit there. However, that isn't good enough nowadays. I want this to be strong and I want it to look good. So I'm going to do it this way. Right, so my plan is I'm going to cut the chassis leg across here and then make a 3mm box, essentially, which is going to be recessed into the chassis, which will just give me enough clearance for the alternator. Now, I have experience of doing it the old-fashioned way and hitting this with a hammer. And yes, it does work. However, if you don't quite do it enough, which I didn't, when you hard accelerate, the alternator does this on the chassis. And it's really, really annoying. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to do it once. I'm going to do it properly. And it's going to be nice and strong. So let's crack on. So I've looked at various images of these online. And what most people do is go just past there to about here and around here. You can do it a bit less. However, I'd rather do it more and make sure there's plenty of room. So I'm going to use a bit of masking tape to mask where I want it. So I want it to be... As factory looking as possible. So I'm going to wear some PPE and I'm going to use a four and a half inch grinder with a one millimeter cutting disc. I'm going to make a slot down there, slot down there, and then I'm going to carefully make a slot across here, not to the very edge, but quite close. Something along the lines of that. Now I'm going to use a belt sander just to clean it up. Followed by a flat disc on a grinder. And then finally I'm going to use a wire wheel on a drill just to clean the inside of the chassis leg. So, now it's all cleaned up, I'm just going to put some extra primer on the inside just to protect it the best I can. Beautiful! Right, I just had a quick glance at mine over, and as you can see, I've actually cut the top of the chassis leg away slightly. So I'm also going to do that now on a GTA. <laughs> Just like so. So now I need to make a box that's going to fit in there. Now this cutout goes in 8mm, but I want the box to go in a bit more than that. So I'm probably going to make it 20mm. And then go from there, I think. Right, so I've drawn around this, as you can see, and now I'm going to add 20mm to this edge here. So I'm going to cut around there and I'm going to fold this line here. And I'm going to have to add a bit what goes there, a bit what goes there, etc, etc. So again, I'll do a 20 mil cut. And I think the other bits I'll add in afterwards just to make it a bit easier. Let's start cutting. Right, so I've cut this out, I've scored the lines here, these need folded over to 90 degrees, and then I need to make the other little tabs that go around here, weld it all together, and it should fit in there nicely. Lovely. Right, just need to make the strip there, strip there, strip there, and strip there. So there we go. Bit one is cut out. It just needs welded in, like so. I am now going to TIG weld that into position.
Right, so as you can see, I've welded it. I TIG welded that bit, worked okay. But then it started getting really like spitty and not very nice. Did the same with this and it, it just wasn't good enough. So I've had to actually MIG weld over the top. As you can see, I put loads and loads of weld on because I wasn't happy with it. I will dress that back down. Um, so now I need to weld a bit of plate on here and weld a bit of plate on there. So if you've got any ideas why the TIG welder started to do that, please let me know in the comments because that's kind of upsetting me because I can't get the TIG welder to work properly and I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong or whether it's the welder. So let me know in the comments. Right, I'm going to cool this off and grind it down, clean it up. So as you can see guys, I've dressed all the welds back down and I've painted the back. So when I weld it in, it's got a bit of protection. So this basically needs slotting into here now and welding into place. So I'm going to start by just tacking these little bits here and then I can start shaping it a little bit better, knocking it into place, getting it fit perfectly. So there we go guys, it's all dressed back now and I've primed it just to protect it for now. Um, dead chuff with the final finish, I think it looks pretty good, pretty neat, nice and strong. So I'm going to wrap the video up there guys, if you enjoyed it, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button, liking the video and leaving a comment below. Stay tuned for more guys, bye bye.